A 10 kilogram mass has a weight of 98 newtons, and so the normal force holding it up will be 98 newtons. Let's say it's sitting on a surface with a coefficient of static friction of 0 0.5. What does that mean? It means the maximum force of static friction is going to be equal to mu static Fn, which is going to be 49 newtons. What does that mean in practical terms? It means if I pull with one newton, the box doesn't move. That's less than 49 newtons. But in order for it to hold still, there must be a force this way of one newton, and that is the force of static friction. If I crank this up to 4 newtons, this will crank up to 4 newtons. If I crank this up to 14, this will go up to 14. It's like Groucho Marx in the mirror routine. I can make this force go up or down, and this will do the exact same thing. Static friction is an adjustable force. It will pull as hard as you need it to, to keep the thing from moving, until you hit the maximum, which is 49 newtons. If I crank this up and pull with 50 newtons, the static friction goes away. Instead, we get kinetic friction, and the amount of that depends on the coefficient of kinetic friction. Now, does static friction always oppose motion? No. Static friction opposes scraping. If your car gets stuck in the snow with the tires spinning, you're complaining about a lack of friction, that's why you can't go. If I take a book, put another book on it, and then I pull the book to one side, the top book goes with it. Why? What's the sideways force on it? It's actually static friction, because for it to hold still, it would have to scrape. And friction is opposed to scraping, so it goes that way. So friction doesn't always make things stop, sometimes it makes them go.